So I just had an interesting little discovery. So I'm mining right now with my Vega FE. It's not terrible, it's not great. About 36 mega hash is pretty good. I have hit 39 for a short time, then it goes down by average about 35. Right now I'm getting 36. And the interesting part is uh, I'm running it at a 852 megahertz with 1100 megahertz RAM. And I'm only at 63C, which is really good. Mind you, the fan is almost at 100%. Um, so they usually run pretty hot. But, so I accidentally got the 852 on the GPU. I, sometimes I mess with the, like, the voltage settings or whatever, and it'll mess up, and it did. But an interesting mess up, because I'm using less power, and I, just, I do have my memory overclock, and I'm getting higher mega hash than I did earlier. So I'm like, whoa, okay, interesting. If you look at attack, the attack is only at uh, at one. <laughs> it normally goes all the way to the top, but I'm getting a higher hash rate. So I was trying to undervolt, and I did, but not at 800 you know, megahertz, and I'm getting pretty good hash rate. So yeah, and the wattage I'm using, this is from the whole computer, at 326, 330. If I close this, you'll see it jump down to about 140. So I'm only increasing my wattage by roughly uh, 190 watts to get down to about 140 and then when I tell my miner to start up again you'll see that it it uh, it's only going to go up by about 190 watts which is pretty darn good and I'm getting a higher hash rate so yeah interesting let's let this guy start real quick I'm gonna kick in here. I'll go this thing. Yep, so like there, it's at 3. 3.22, it's not bad at all. It's crazy. So, yeah. And I, I was messing around earlier where you know, it, it'll crash, it'll lock up, it won't let me adjust it. So that's kind of the downside. If I restart it or, or whatever, reset, it might go back to normal and I restart the computer. But it, it got messed up and it dropped it all the way down to the lowest it can go, which is 852, that I know of anyway. And I can't adjust the volt, the you know this anymore. It doesn't work right at the moment. But again, it doesn't matter. This is an interesting crash. And if I can do this by accident, then it can be done on purpose. And I do have my memory overclocked. Voltage is automatic. Uh, just 1100 megahertz. Of course, you know I, I try to keep it cool. So, but now I can drop this down lower because look at this temperature. It's only as you know. In fact, I'll go auto. Let's see what happens. And I'll put this sucker to 81. I'm usually happy with that. I do have my power limit max so I can try to see what I can do with it. If the machine do what it needs to do. But at any rate, it, uh, I'm getting a higher hash rate at like a crazy... Uh, actually, I'm going to force it down. Force it down. Let's try that. We'll jump up temperature, but as long as it's like around 70, I don't care. Um, yeah. So, about 190 watts which is nowhere near that crazy, like 400 some people get with water cooled or whatever, or three something with uh, air cooled. And I'm getting a higher hash rate, so okay, why not? 36, not bad at all, not bad at all. And I later on just kind of for a side thing. Yeah, I had to take a bump on the side. I ran out of space, I need more racking. And it gets really hot over there, like it cooked this thing, so I moved it. Um, as a Vega RX uh, Vega 64, I'm gonna try to underclock that guy along with this guy. I'm also gonna game with it, as you can see. Do some PUBG with it later. But yeah, that's, uh, I had a freaking this thing is using like 1400 watts, so I'm gonna drop, try to drop that down by at least 100. Um, interesting stuff. So yeah. Uh, Low power usage and decent hash rate. Interesting.